All right, I got some more Mandela effect information, some new information. Um, Brian Stavely posted a video uh, from the movie Moonfall. Oh, there was a trailer to uh, today. Um, I saw in the I saw Scream Five, and there was a trailer for Moonfall and. Now he um, he posted a scene where they're talking about a Mandela effect, and it's uh, Toto. I miss the rains down in Africa, and then he's like, uh, so there's this guy, this horrible actor from uh, who's from the condom from the conjuring and uh, just uh, he's a real I he's really like 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 he, he's like the role of like Tom Hanks and uh, just a real Hollywood douchebag uh, oh, such a terrible over 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 uh, um, Overrated act. It's so boring and annoying. And so, so this guy, they had this guy mocking the Mandela effect because they're talking about something which, uh, which is a Mandela effect. Uh, not that it's it's a big one in the community, but uh, it's just a. Uh, the uh, the structure of the conversation is is a Mandela effect which, because he he's like he's sort of like saying this very strange weird thing that I miss the rains down in Africa what does that even mean well uh, what, what well what, why is a why is a, s a semantic problem a uh, problem in terms of understanding anything. Well, it's uh, just, you know, like, say, if you've been to Africa, I've been to Casablanca for a couple of hours in Morocco, but um, it wasn't raining, but, uh, well, obviously it could be like if you had a, like, a good experience, like you... Uh, well, you know, there was there was a cool rainstorm or something, and you like you, you you had a good time, and so why is there a problem with the understanding? Uh, and then then it's like no, it's bless the rains. And then it says oh, that makes even less sense. Yeah, and that that is a strange thing. I bless the rains. Uh... That just sounds sounds. Uh, I I always thought it was it was uh, miss. And also today I heard um, another one. I heard. Uh, I I heard um, Tom Jones Six Bomb. And I was like. You know you're a six bomb. <laughs> It was, isn't it? I'm a sex bomb, you know. The lyrics are just like, uh, um, you can you can turn me on or something. But but then he's singing, you're my sex bomb or something. You're a sex bomb. I'm a, yeah. And there was one with Pink Floyd, The Wall, as well, also. But I, I didn't really me. I, I get that one, but. But anyway, back to the Toto one. Then, then um, actually, it's then then you look at Toto uh, Africa on YouTube, and um, it's uh, um, it's um, it turns out that then it says the lyrics. It says the chorus. And then, uh, 
just that exact part it actually says which is uh, yeah I, I don't know I mean it's like uh, Uh, this whole Man Mandela effect thing, I mean, it's like, um, it, it, uh, it's definitely not about whether it's true or not, or what is causing it, that, that, that's, that's, that's so fake. Uh, you know, this is just, a, this is a, um, this is a, an inherent part of reality. Uh, like synchronicity, but like the concept of synchronicity. Uh, it's like like today where why uh, there was uh, there was again moonfall. By the way, there was a Creedence cover where I, where the the song is coming like uh, like there's a bad moon on the rise and then. I heard it like there's a bathroom at the right, like because I need to go to the bathroom or something like you know what I mean. That's that's the uh, 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 that's the nature of the of the Mandela effect. It's it's like glitch in the matrix, synchronicity, all that. Uh, uh, and the and the reason why why mainstream the mainstream the arrogant mainstream is marking this is uh, because of its weak understanding of of truths and philosophy and. It's not because it's it's either true or false. It's it's just that uh, of course they they have to they have to anything that gets closer to truth they they fear because that's the end of of this society. If if people wake up and. And starts uh, getting closer to truth. That, that that's the end of uh, of t tyranny. The tyranny of of the mainstream bullshit. So uh, the Mandela effect is a great search for truth, but it's not. Uh, it's 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 it's, it's uh, I I totally don't uh, agree with Brian Stavely. On uh, you know I can understand it's like a tiger like, it's like a macho thing to do. There's this Danish guy, cool Danish guy called Sidney Lee, that I actually met accidentally. One day. And. Uh, like he's a he's a world class arcade player, I guess stuff. And uh, and he he was he was talking about the Mandela effect as well with a with a physicist with a Danish uh, famous physicist. And uh, you know I can understand you want to you want to like. Uh, you want to have that like macho angle, like where you're like, yeah, this is true, you know, this is correct, you know, uh, uh, there's a reality shift and so on, and then you just, then you just focus on that, but, and then that's, that's what Brian Stavely is doing as well, but I just think he's taking it too far because he's like uh, he's like he's like using examples that, that that I mean when you use examples like and that's not only Brian that's doing that but also like you know like 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 say uh, 
because you can't spell Sagittarius or something, you or you can't, you or you, uh, you you find like one example where where there's a name that's spelled, or like Colombo, how is Colombo, Franco Colombo spelled, or Tina Davis or something. Uh, Uh, the Christ, the Christopher Reeves is is a weird one, definitely. Uh, also because Eminem got, well, I like call him Reeves, you know, like <laughs> like. So uh, well, obviously, when you got these like high profile people, which is what makes Moon, the Moonfall uh, looks like a terrible movie, but it's one that's gonna ma get a lot of make a lot of money and get a lot of viewers and uh, so um it um yeah, when when people like Eminem are like talking about like he's also talking about Fred Krueger which which is another Mandela effect with his sweater and uh, he's talking about his sweater uh, so, um, there's definitely something go weird going on uh, um and usually the like small clues, small Easter eggs, you know, connected to these types of uh, of investigations. Uh, but anyway, I was like yeah, today I, um, I I went to see Scream Five and uh, like put some nice clothes on and yeah. I think that's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough in uh, in in the Mandela effect. Um, uh, I think it's, uh, like something something big is going to to happen with with that. I think soon love it's gonna be it's gonna be some kind of like major breakthrough. Another big one for me is the Karate Kid headband, which is uh, a bandana, or what is it called? But uh, it's, uh, it's you know, um, well, that just looks totally wrong. It's, it's, a little, it's, it's so not 80s. Uh, I Uh, yeah, well, that's all I had for now.